Welcome everybody. Welcome to this open day at the School of Business and Economics of Maastricht University. My name is Jaap Bos and this is Fahira Kabir. We are currently in the lecture hall, which is where we start our journey as a part of this open day. But we also talk to you about student life in Maastricht, what you can expect in the next three years and what you can expect afterwards. So let's get started and welcome to this open day. At the School of Business and Economics, education comes first. The key evidence of that is our Triple Crown accreditation, recognizing our emphasis for high quality education. First and foremost, we are an international school of business and economics. Nearly half of our staff is non-Dutch. We have 5,000 students from 70 different countries. Adding to the international experience are the many exchange students that visit the Maastricht University School of Business and Economics every year. Most of the time, you will not be sitting in a lecture hall, but in a room like this one, sitting with a small group of students and a tutor working on real-life problems. That's why we focus on teaching you four key competences. First and foremost, knowledge and insight. We want you to know what you're talking about. Secondly, academic attitude. Because being an economist is not just about knowing today's knowledge, but also knowing about how to acquire tomorrow's knowledge. Thirdly, we focus on interpersonal competences. You'll be working in a team with others during your studies and afterwards, solving those real life problems. How do you do that? And finally, for the International School of Business and Economics, we want you to acquire knowledge about global citizenship. How do you work together with people with many different backgrounds and many different cultures? So, first things first, I guess it's quite interesting to reflect on my decision three years ago and what pushed me towards Maastricht University. I think it's quite an unconventional story when you hear about a girl from Bangladesh coming all the way to Maastricht to pursue her bachelor's, but there are certain unique factors about Maastricht that really struck out for me. First and foremost, I think it was a problem-based learning method. I'd always learned in a setting where my education really revolved around textbooks, so when I started a new chapter in my life, I wanted a fresh perspective. The problem-based learning method helps you to facilitate learning not just through textbook but via discussion. And I think the major advantage that you gain when you learn through conversation is that you know how to apply the theory that you're absorbing into real-life situations. PBL also teaches you teamwork because you learn to work with people from different countries and different internationalities within one room. You also learn um, skills about public speaking, because even when there are a myriad of opinions in the room, you learn to voice your one. So that way it also helps to generate some confidence inside you. So when I reflect back on my week, it mainly comprises of, of course, some studying, tutorials, lectures. I have some meetings with my team members, as well as some meetings with the consultancy that I'm working with. But moving on to the fun side of things, I have lunches and as well as some fun brunches planned with my friends throughout the week that are scattered. And um, if you're studying in Maastricht, then your week will probably comprise of a lot of trips to coffee lovers. So I think there are um, actually a lot that you can get involved with university. Um, Scope is one of the largest study associations that we have and they organize so many trips. They also do a lot of career events for you. I learned a lot about presentation skills. I learned a lot about thinking analytically and most importantly I found some of my closest friends there. Maastricht is a small city compared to where I come from and where my roots lie in Bangladesh so it's for me quite a change of scenery and it's something that I really enjoy the ability to be able to walk to everywhere in 15 minutes and also the fact that whenever you head, head out of your house you're bound to meet some people that you already know. Maastricht's the coziest city you'll find in Europe. <laughs> so we told you a lot about what it's like to study at SBE. Now it's time to get a little bit more serious. Sit back, relax, but listen carefully as we tell you a little bit more about the contents of this study program. Hello everyone, my name is Professor Gabi Odekerkje Schreuder and I research and teach about customer-centric services. But today I'm here to tell you about two of our largest bachelor programs at the School of Business and Economics of Maastricht University. On the one hand we talk about international business and on the other hand about economics and business economics. And if you are still debating about the two, 
Please let me explain what I consider the main differences and similarities, and that will enable you to make your choice that fits with you and your preferences. Yeah, in both programs, we basically try to integrate what is going on in society. So in our problem-based learning philosophy, we work a lot with cases, with up-to-date examples. And this is an example of Amazon. Amazon in France are offering lots of job potentials, but at the expense of pollution, environment, probably ethics. And the question is, how would that pan out in international business or in business and economics. And that is fascinating because it's basically one example. And for students participating in different programs, they look at it from a different perspective. So let's start with international business students. If you would consider studying international business, you are mainly interested in how Amazon works as a company. How do they advertise? What do they do with human resource management? How do they market their products? What about supply chain management? Now, these are questions that really relate to the organization, the internal processes, the people who work there. And it's really fascinating there to see how an organization functions. For those of you who are interested in economics and business economics, how we try to emphasize on those aspects of the case that take, for instance, pollution or ethics or globalization as a starting point in this case. And there you try to understand what are the developments in the market. And to what extent uh, do they have an impact on what is going on here? So there's a different focus on, um, on the case from the different study programs you are tackling here. And I think it's interesting to realize that if you study in either programs, how you will be working on these practical examples, which makes it rich, vivid, and also up to date. So a long story short, what's the summary? If we focus on economics and business economics, we focus on institutions. In international business, in contrast, we focus on people. Well, I trust that the main difference between the two programs is clear to you now, but it is important, I think, to understand how our year is built up at Maastricht University School of Business and Economics. So we basically divide our year in two semesters, two halves, one until Christmas and the other until summer. And in each of these semesters, we distinguish three different periods, block one and two, and then a skills training. And as the name already implies, in the skills training, we focus on the development of soft skills. And interesting enough, I think it's important to realize that you also train these soft skills almost naturally while being in a tutorial group because you are a discussion leader, you are in an international classroom, so you have to work together in sub-teams with people from different backgrounds and different cultures. So what, what the employers of our alumni tell us is that graduates from our school, they really excel in soft skills. If we look at the more structured setup of courses, you see lots of parallels between economics and business economics and international business. Only at three moments in the year, there are differences. So if we look at the economics and business economics program, we see a course on microeconomics, macroeconomics, and international economic relations. Whereas in the international business course, we see a course on economics and business, on strategy, and on fundamentals of supply chain management, which immediately shows that in economics and business economics, we focus on markets, micro, macro, international relations, whereas in international business, we really focus on the organizations, strategies, business, supply chain management. So that is what makes the difference between the two programs in our first year. After the first year, in your second year, you are encouraged to specialize in whatever you are passionate about. And please try to figure that out. Huh? There is no right or wrong. It's just important that it makes you tick. And then in the third year, the, the real beauty of our program is that everyone gets an opportunity to go abroad. So in your third year, you focus on a major, 
which basically builds on your specialization in your second year, and you go abroad for half a year, which means that you get an opportunity to live in a different country, in a different city, to meet and mingle with new people, get used to different cultures, and obviously also focus on courses that nicely build or complement your specialization and major. Yeah, and probably you already start dreaming about your future career. Because if you come to Maastricht University, you are also motivated and passionate and you're willing to go the extra mile. So think and envision your yeah, perfect career. Um, would you like to be the CEO of a big consultancy firm? Or of a large, fast-moving consumer goods company? I think this is the place where you can start building a strong foundation. And in a similar vein, if you want to be the vice president or an important officer at the European Union, I think our school really helps you to thrive and to build knowledge and soft skills that really help you to realize the career that you are aspiring to as a responsible, sustainable future leader. So now you might wonder, am I suitable for these studies? And uh, probably the next considerations might help you in answering this question, because I think it's important that you feel a fit, that we fit to you and you fit to us. And so what I think is crucial is your passion. Can you really become passionate about what you're doing? Now, whether that's sports or whether uh, it's your own little business uh, on social media or uh, even on online gaming where you exchange and invest. Uh, this is something that we really um, need here because you are responsible for your own study success, obviously. A second aspect I consider important is perseverance. Sometimes things go wrong and that's okay. And you are here to learn, so we don't expect you to do everything spot on right from the beginning. You are allowed to learn and fail, as long as you manage to hold on and try again. As a third aspect, I think it's crucial that you have a willingness to learn, an eagerness. Are you open to new experiences? Are you interested in new methods and new knowledge? I think that is really important. As a fourth characteristic, I think openness to the world, to new cultures, is really fundamental. If you're traveling, do you question why habits are different in a different country? Are you fascinated by what happens in the European Union or at the United Nations? Is this something you follow in the daily news? Then you would probably fit well here with our programs of international business and uh, economics and business economics. And as a final aspect, I think not unimportant to remember is that a certain level or interest in math and statistics is really important. It doesn't mean uh, that you need to be a rising star in numbers, but you also shouldn't be afraid of numbers. It's part of both programs and it's important that you try to understand these. Are you interested in stock markets? Do you consider um, annual reports of companies? Is this something that makes you tick? Then this is the place to be for you. And trust me, you can learn. At the start, you won't be there, but we offer a safe and um, nourishing environment that will help you to make the best out of your own ambitions. Good, so I hope that the difference between international business and economics and business economics is a bit clearer to you by now. I wish you lots of luck in making this tough decision, but whatever you choose, there is no right or wrong as long as you feel it fits to you. I would love to welcome you here at Maastricht University School of Business and Economics. So what does your time look like after your bachelor at Maastricht University? Well, you might start a job or an internship or... Or you could be starting a master's at a brand new facility right behind us here at Topine. So enough about us. It's time to talk about you. What are we looking for in our new students? Well, we are an international school. We do have a problem-based learning system. So what kind of students do we want? Faria. Okay, so reflecting back, I think the students that we probably need at SBE are those that are ambitious, those who carry the ability to work in teams, 
And simultaneously, I feel like we need people who also know how to have fun um, and really know how to strike a balance between their academic lives as well as their social lives here at the university. We think that knowledge is not just absorbed, it's exchanged. It's a two-way street and you contribute to the success of our program just as much as we do. If you truly want to know what it means to be an SBE student and get a first-hand experience of what it's like to be spending a day um, as one of us, then do check out our student live stories or check out our Instagram on the Bachelor Open Days. Or join us for one of our virtual experience days where you can really experience what it's like to be a student at SBE for a day. We look forward to welcoming to you, you next, next year. year. <laughs> See, you See you next, next year. year. Let's go get a coffee.